Hi everybody. I just finished up my first art fair since COVID started and this is my only fair of 2022. So I wanted to do one this year and get my, my feet wet again and I had a great time. I produced a ton of new work over the past year. I was really proud to share it and I wanted to share with you five things I learned during this art fair. The first thing I learned is that my art, the more art I make, the more cohesive my art is becoming. I feel like for the first time, I didn't have a collection of art that looked like this and a collection of art that looked like that. I had one tent and it looked like the same artist created all of the art. So I was very happy with that. The second thing um, I learned was that I have become more confident talking about my art with other people. A lot of that, again, I really put the, the time in this year to think about my art. What is my art about? What do I want to say? And spent time journaling. And that helped a lot. It seems a little silly if you just think about it quickly to journal about your art and your art making, but it's crazy helpful. It is so helpful to you know, think about what choices you're making and why you're making them. And when you get stuck, try to understand why you get stuck. Very, very helpful. Can't recommend it enough. The third thing I've learned, in addition to the fact that I'm just a procrastinator, is that I work very well under a deadline. It's a little more stressful, a little more exciting that way, but I, I guess I would recommend to never assume that you're done. <laughs> so if you, don't have all the art that you want and you want to, you wish you had more art, but you've just set up for your booth for the art fair and the art fair starts tomorrow morning. Keep painting. I painted until midnight Friday night after setting up my booth and Saturday morning, I came in with four new paintings that I didn't have the night before. I hadn't started them from scratch Friday night, but I found some in a pile of unfinished work and work that I had just set aside for a while. And for me, having time pressure helps me take more risks in my art making. If I had all the time in the world, I could futz and, and tinker here and there. But if I have a panel that I don't like as it is, and I have an art fair tomorrow, it's much easier for me at that point to let loose and do some big, bold marks and try it. Because if I don't like it, I'm no further behind than I already am. So that helps me a lot. And uh, that brings me to number four. When your art resonates with somebody and your art is truly an expression of yourself or whatever you're trying to say, it means so much. It's so wonderful. They connect with it really well. And they love it. And it feels so good to have someone love your work when it's truly something that you're proud of. Not everyone's gonna like your work. Many, many people walk by and smile and nod and just walk past your booth and that's totally fine. Art's not for everyone. I don't like everyone's art, art fairs either. But I guess all that to say, don't water your work down. Don't try to be like someone else or don't try to be more or less yourself. More like someone else or less like yourself. Just do the art that only you can make and it will resonate with someone. You just need to find your audience. And once you do, it is wonderful. It's such a great feeling. Fair. The fifth thing I've learned at this art fair this year is to bring a friend, but not just any friend. Bring a friend who is easygoing, not gonna create work for you because you already have enough work going on. Someone who's easy to be with, and who celebrates your wins with you. Don't bring a jealous friend, don't bring a needy friend. If you have a friend who is cheering you on from the sidelines the whole time and only wants the best for you, bring that friend. And I was lucky enough, blessed enough to have a friend, Chris Acton, hi Chris, who is a fiber artist and a weaver and she's amazing. She really calmed me down. I was a little bit flustered the first hour or two, trying to get everything set up from my bringing my art in brand new and rearranging a whole bunch of things. But it's just, just a joy to be around her 
and she is amazing. Highly recommend having a friend like that who drove up from a different state to be with me that whole day. And it's just wonderful to have someone who supports you. So keep all your negative friends away. Don't even tell them about the art fair if, someone's gonna, if you feel like they're gonna be judging you. Just bring positivity, bring your positive friends, tell your positive family about it. Just forget to invite the non-positive people and enjoy yourself. So what about you? What have you find helpful? What have you learned about your art fair or showing in galleries? What have you found helpful? What uh, lessons did you learn? Please share it with the rest of us so that we can all learn together. Thanks everyone, bye.